Hey everyone, Arok Lazarus back for part 3 of my silent photographer playthrough of Legendary. As you can see, I'm just driving my awesome warthog through this asshole cave. And, uh, I'm gonna run on through here. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, fucking take it, wall. Yeah, showed that fucking wall his boss. Now time to do some parallel parking like a pro. Alright, how's that looking? Nope, nope, not good. Try and park that again. Almost. Almost got my parallel parking going. And half Asian, doing well, doing well. All right, and here we go down a nice long tunnel, making sure my rocket launcher is all ready, firing on through. And uh, all right, I think it's time to take a walk into the pianist shaft of awesome. And I mean, come on, Bungie has to know what they're talking about here. It's in the shape of a penis. I mean, come on, look at that. And it's called shafted. Like, you know, how could you not think that's what they were intending there? So there I'm kicking a conveniently placed rock or something off to the nice long abyss. And, uh, nice long fall up ahead. And it, it's not worth it right now, guys. It, it really is not worth making that jump. Alright, that always been a nice big old crack in the back. And moving on up ahead, nice sleeping grunt here, I'm just going to smack him in the back and also just uh, hide in his corpse for a while in the hopes that this next grunt won't see me. Don't want them giving away the alarm or anything. And uh, I tell you, this would actually be a creepy sight at night, you know. Like just imagine like a regular human sitting there and you see a real weird shadow like that just come lumbering across very slowly. I would have shit in my pants if I walked, woke up in the middle, if I woke up in the middle of the night seeing that shadow walk along my wall. Alright, so uh, yeah, I failed the plasma grenade, but I do kill a grunt, thankfully. Um, once again, everybody, plasma pistol is extremely effective. I regret not using it more often, as I said earlier. Um, and of course here I'm actually not doing very good with it, but that's only my fault. If I actually tried really hard, I would have gotten a lot more kills with it right there. Instead, I'm resorting back to the uh, rocket launcher option. I don't actually plan on using it here, but um, I don't want it to be lost in any uh, random freak explosions. That uh, is all too common for a for a combat evolved. At this point, I've largely decided to give up killing him, killing him with my pistol, so I'm resorting to the uh, next best option and one that's only really capable of being done when all the other enemies are dead. Uh, and thankfully, I've just got it out that they are in fact all dead. It's so now the easy thing to do, a nice simple melee to the back. And now what I was looking for earlier when I, you saw me looking along the wall to the back up there, I'm now looking for the shortcut down that I for, totally forgot the location of, and there it is. For those of you who don't know, it's a very convenient little shortcut down. Uh, better take it on before that battle begins that I just did, but hey, you know, better late than never I guess. And uh, there's also an overshield down here, a nice way to just land on that so you can skip a few levels. Here though, I'm looking for it, and I fell. Complete fall by accident, yet I luckily managed to land on the overshield. Complete luck there, I uh, I, I almost freaked out when I fell. Analyzing. Halo's control center is located there. That structure appears to be some sort of temple or shrine if I've interpreted this correctly. Interesting. On the way out, there are two different ways to go. I prefer taking the elite way because the other way involves a few grunts and another elite. And um, I've always just been more comfortable going this way. And here I uh, just get pissed off at the red elite because like I said, I fucking hate red elites. And I blow his brains out with a rocket launcher. Of course, I can't guess it's really not just his brains, it's like all his body parts everywhere. But you know, whatever you want to call it, I guess. This place can be a bit of a, m a memory fuck, but um, all I have to really remember is just take a quick right, go up that little ramp, melee the grunt, and keep on walking, and you can avoid all the grunts and elite that would and have encounter to do the other way, how to take the other way I mentioned a little while earlier. This is probably thinking, oh yeah, I can take it on, just a few jackals. But don't forget, I hate jackals, I see three yellow shields, and uh, my rock launcher quickly takes care of that as well. Much better than pistol could have done any time of day there. 
Uh, this part's when things actually start getting really tough in the cartographer level. Uh, there's mini jackals. Um, it's when you're low in ammo. You get jackals, as you can see in front, far back as well. They have many advantage points on you, and I'm checking my flank there to be sure the uh, grunts and weight I passed up don't chase me. They never have, but uh, it's better safe than sorry no matter what. I tend to run here and fail miserably. Fortunately, that would not be the first time I failed miserably on this level. Or at least on this part of the level, you've already seen me fail miserably a few other times. Uh, my goal right now is to make it to the camouflage that's over there. Um, because of how effective it can be to getting past uh, all these enemies quite fast. Um, for a speedrun, it's definitely essential, I guess. Uh, I'm not doing a speedrun, obviously. But um, no matter what, it's pretty essential. As you can see, there is only one camouflage, so it's best if you're playing co-op to have like one person just wait in that room while the other person takes the camo and it goes on up ahead, uh, possibly milling enemies so your buddy can uh, follow you behind with no worries. Nice jump over these grunts, I love doing that, just avoiding them, so I feel like a ghost then. Those damn grunts, though, of course, keep my position away, and uh, I, I mistake the melee, but um, I decide not to follow up through with it and keep on going. Also, once you get more jackals, this will not be the last time I see those jackals, because the camouflage has unfortunately weared off right there. Did I say weird up? I told him he'd worn off. I'm so sorry about that. And that readily survived my nice rocket launcher. Uh, on the right side, a lot of people don't like Halo's checkpoints. I can see why. But, I got lucky there that it gave me the checkpoint after the camouflage. And I do want to bring up a quick point here about the checkpoints in Halo. Back before Halo 1, most uh, shooter games, and Plum 2 games in general, didn't have very forgiving uh, save point systems. Usually, if you died halfway through the level, you start throughout most of the level or the whole level over with. So people find might find Halo's save points, um, or checkpoints I mean, unfair. But at the time, they were some of the most fair things you, you could get in a game, uh, especially a first person shooter. Uh, sure, they could be a bit wonky at times, but the fact that you didn't restart the whole, the fact that you didn't have to restart the whole level when doing it, was like a lifesaver. So people really need to remember that. This is still a 10 year old game and uh, it's only been succeeded by other games lately. Um, but its checkpoint system was still was revolutionary at the time. I'm trying my cover there and no, not working for me unfortunately. Once again, I said this is not the last time you see these jackals. Uh, hopefully this time will be. Once again, I do apologize for all the deaths, and um, if I can find a, uh, a way to cut these deaths out in my future videos, I guess I'll just have to focus on uh, making perfect run-throughs with no deaths. That way you'll, you'll just be, see, uh, be seeing the same part twice. The only level that's going to be a pain on will be uh, the library, but uh, I'll deal with that as the time comes. Fuck you, Jackal. Other fuck you, Jackal. I don't know how the hunters survived my shot there. Um, I must have just barely clipped him or something. Where I thought he was supposed to go. Not. I, I'm not really sure what the Jackal's planning there. It, it, you know, I mean, the AI and Halo can be pretty smart, but um, they, they're pretty stupid at times too. Really stupid. My goal right now is to just try and get the jackals cleared out, uh, listen for any other enemies that are going to try to flank me. I don't hear any, so I decided to make a charge for it. Um, right now I just want to avoid the hunters, and my goal is to make it uh, around the elite and the grunts that are guarding the door without being noticed, fast enough for me to uh, escape them without dying. So uh, just using my the walls here, splinter cell style, sneaking my way through. I actually avoided taking the health pack here because I only have one bar missing 
and I figure if I have to come back, I want to come back when I need health, uh, and therefore when I need like one, when I need a lot more than one bar, because um, clearly there's no point in wasting it either. There's my door, and I actually made it in time. Um, the whole goal is just keeping the grunts and elites away from that door over there. Also, there is a way to skip this room. I don't recommend it though, because the fight out can be a real bitch when trying to run from enemies behind you as well. So that's why I always try to try clearing it before. And that early got to die just like his brother as well. That guy can be the biggest threat if you're if you're new to the game. Uh, gold leap with a sword, but um, due to his location, a quick stick, and you run away. He'll die before any explosion or sword can ever kill you. Also, that was a quick cut there. Uh, just a problem with the ed video editor. Don't worry, I promise I didn't cut anything out. Okay, so the real reason I parked like that was to keep the invisible leash from charging me when I came up. But then I completely ruined that plan by sticking the Warthog anyway. Not my best move. But uh, I did have a rock launcher shot left to take care of that, and as you can see, I did kill a couple of elites. So right now I'm just uh, finishing off the rest with a nice few pistol shots, and uh, that'll be it for the level. I'm just checking my flanks here now, and it's all good. Going for the Pelican. That concludes my silent cartographer and legendary playthrough. I hope you enjoyed, and please uh, leave feedback. And uh, my next video will be assault in the control room. But before I do a legendary playthrough of it, I will be doing a glitch and easter egg walkthrough of all the glitches in the, in the easter eggs that I personally know of, and I'll scrounge up any information I can find on, the, on any others. My best friend, Stoya Kobo, will be uh, helping me film that once he gets the game, and uh, so please look forward to that sometime after Christmas. There's lots of good information in that. And uh, once again, thanks for watching, and please stay tuned.